Welcome to the Cultural Awareness Series, where we merge the understanding of the term culture, both in human society and microbiology, by highlighting microbiologists you may have never heard of. Today, we will be learning about Fanny Hess. Fanny Hess was a microbiologist best known for her work developing auger as a medium for culturing microorganisms. Her contributions shaped the very fabric of the field of microbiology, but have largely gone unnoticed. Fanny Hess was born Angelina Fanny Ellis Hymius in New York City in 1850. Not a lot is known about Hess's early life. Much documentation of her life comes after she moved to Germany, where she married Walther Hess in 1874. Walther Hess had a great interest in medicine and worked as a microbiologist in Robert Cook's lab in the late 1800s. Fanny took an interest in microbiology and assisted Walther by preparing bacterial growth media and cleaning equipment. She also had a great artistic talent and produced many illustrations for his publications. This was in addition to running a household and teaching her sons at home. At the time, growth media used gelatin, which made it very difficult to work with in a laboratory setting, especially when trying to culture bacteria, as it would easily transform from a solid to a liquid above 37 degrees Celsius. Fanny made a keen observation that the auger used to make puddings and jellies was an effective gelling agent even at warm temperatures. She hypothesized that this might also be applicable to a microbiology setting. She suggested this idea to her husband. The lab soon started using auger as a growth media for bacteria. This use of growth media with auger as the main gelling ingredient led Robert Cook to cultivate Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is the causative agent of tuberculosis. Cook published, published his discoveries in an 1882 publication where he mentioned the revolutionary addition of auger to growth media. However, Cook failed to mention that this was Fanny's invention and did not credit her within the publication. Fanny's invention of auger as a growth medium was used by more and more microbiologists, which led to the discovery of causative agents for notable infections at the time. Fanny passed away in 1934. A 1939 paper published by Hitchens and Leekind suggested that plain auger be referred to as, quote, Frau Hesse's medium, end quote to acknowledge her forgotten, quote, service to science and to humanity, end quote. To this day, this has yet to happen. Auger plates are now a common staple in microbiology lab and classroom settings. We have variations of auger to culture different types of bacteria, including triptych soy auger and blood auger. Without Fanny's invention, the field of microbiology would not be where it is today. Unfortunately, her contributions largely went unacknowledged and still have not been formally recognized within the microbiology community.